Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a workaround for using highlights in Mem until Mem has a highlight feature, something I accidentally discovered, super simple. But if you have wanted to have a way to highlight text in Mem, this video is for you. And if you're interested, be sure to check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. The reason I wanted to do this video is that one of the limitations of Mem that people run into is highlighting because Mem doesn't have a highlight feature right now. And I know that a lot of people had requested that feature and the feature request, a lot of other note-taking apps have this feature. So I decided to do this tutorial just to show you a really simple workaround that I stumbled upon by accident. So first, let's talk about why you might want to use highlighting. So if you know anything about Tiago Forte's work, he has this concept called progressive summarization. So you look at this, these are pretty extensive. These are a lot of notes from a book and it's hard to figure out what's really important here without some sort of filtering mechanism. So Tiago has what he calls different layers of progressive summarization. So if you think about it, bolding, things like headers uh, are all forms of <clears throat> layers. So the first layer that Tiago does is just bolding things. So let's just go through and bold a few things and then say, okay, you know what, that these are the things that, that really matter and we're gonna bold them. So then you, know, you start just looking through and say, okay, these are the things that I want to remember most. And then let's just say a relentless bias towards action pushes things forward. And then we're going to talk about this idea here. So we've got this. And then you see here that basically every project in life can be reduced to these three components. Now, obviously these are already bolded because these were really important to me, but bolding is one layer. So Let's say that we want to go another layer deeper. And the reason that this is useful is because what happens is that you're really trying to filter for the gist of a source so that you don't have to go through the entire note and spend hours looking at it where you can just figure out what are the most important parts. So layer two is underlining. So let's go ahead and underline the handful of things that are really important to us. And we'll go ahead and say, okay, we're going to underline this. We're going to underline this. So you have bolding, you have underlining. And basically the idea is that what you're looking for is a way to really discern the things that are vital inside the entire note so that you could look at it in two seconds and really understand what they're about. Now, the problem, like I said with Mem, is that right now there is no way to highlight stuff in Mem. So I found this really weird workaround by accident. Now, what we wanna do is figure out what it is that we really want so that when we look at this, we can take one look at it and say, okay, these are the things that really matter inside of this. And so, <clears throat> let's say for example, right, abolish automatic meetings. I definitely wanna remember that. And so we're gonna have some key points. You can see here that I actually did this by using headers, but let's say that I had just grabbed a bunch of bullet points. So now, even if we have to go through this note, it's gonna be a little bit hard to figure out what are the really key ideas that I wanna remember. Now, as I mentioned, you can't highlight in Mem, but you can comment and here's the cool thing. You don't actually have to put anything in the comments. So now you actually have this really clever workaround for comments and you can just post them and you don't have to put something there. So suddenly we can basically have highlights inside of Mem without the highlight feature. And obviously you're gonna have these comments, but that don't, doesn't really matter. And you can want to, you can add. And I discovered this while I was taking notes on an online course. Let's say I wanted to highlight this as well. And so now basically rather than having to go through the entire note, I can see within the stuff that I've bolded, what's really important out of this entire note. So for example, this right here is probably one of the key ideas in Scott Belsky's book that really helped me understand the book. In fact, I think that everything in this book is all about this core idea right here. And what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that as well. And I'm gonna highlight that piece as well. And so suddenly, now if I come back to this note, 
rather than having to look through the entire thing for the key ideas, the things that really matter most to me, I actually can just say, okay, you know what? Like these are the things that I have highlighted and these are the things that are going to matter the most. So I can basically get the gist and really distill down to the essence what this entire book was about just by looking at the things that are bolded and then highlighted. And then there's another level which you don't have to do, but I'll show you an example of one of them. So for example, I finished reading Tiago's book, Building a Second Brain. And instead of just doing this, and this is the final level, which is a summary, right? <clears throat> Where you rewrite everything in your own words from the highlights, especially when it's got so much that you've taken notes on. But again, we can go and you can use the comment feature to highlight those things that really matter. So let's just say we do that. And then what ends up happening is you now have a highlight. And that's one way to get around this issue that mem doesn't have a highlighting feature. Ah, and as always, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below.